Hey guys, Chris here. Just wanted to do a quick video um, about in regards to, you know, you have to believe that Jesus Christ is God to be saved. You know, a lot of people who don't believe that Jesus is God um, and saying that you don't have to believe that Jesus is God to be saved, they'll say, oh, you know, you're bringing condemnation. You know, it's only just believing, you know, what Jesus did. And But once again, if you have a different Jesus, um, you know, you don't, you're not a Christian, you're not part of the body of Christ. And you're definitely not saved. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a few scriptures uh, from the Bible, where you know Jesus, Jesus said some pretty um, uh, just divisive things. You know, he didn't come, you know, just preaching lovey dovey sort of stuff, and you know, can't we all get along? And oh, it's only you know what your heart is like. It's not you know doctrine. But he 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 made some really bold statements and divisive statements. So um, I'll just read a few verses to you here. Um, about this fact, you know, and Jesus said in Matthew 10, uh, verses 32 to uh, 35, it says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to come to send peace on earth. I came to came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So Jesus Christ is saying here, I'm bringing division. You know, he's not just bringing peace. He is the Prince of Peace, of course, and we will have peace in our hearts when we believe on him. But he's trying to say here that, you know, he's come to divide people because of what they think of him and who he is. You know, he constantly was saying to the disciples, you know, a few times in the Gospels, who do men say that I am? So they'll say, oh, he's John the Baptist come back to life, or he is Elias or one of the prophets. But you know, then he said, said to, to the, the, the apostles, he said, but who do you say that I am? Who do ye say that I am? And of course, Peter said that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And so this is crucial. We need to know who Jesus is. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to be tossed to and fro with the wind. And you know, the Bible also says in, uh, I think it's the end of First Corinthians, the Bible says, if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, maranatha. So Paul was saying there, that's some pretty pretty, you know, bold statements he's saying, you know, if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, let him be accursed. If they have a different gospel, different Jesus, you know. I don't care if you say it's by grace through faith. I don't care if you say that it's a free gift, which are both truths of the Bible, where it's you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved forever. You receive his spirit, receive the, the Holy Spirit um, until the day of redemption. But, um, you yeah, know, it's not of works, it's, you know, it's a free gift and all that sort of stuff. But if they don't have the right Jesus, they're not believing, if they're just believing it's a man, you know, it was just a man or um, he was created, you know, get the hell out of here with that sort of rubbish. You know, the apostles wouldn't stand for that crap. No way. They'd be saying, you're anathema. They'd be saying, you're accursed. You have the wrong Jesus, you know, deliver him over to Satan. You know, for those sort of things that people want to deny the glory of Jesus. Because if you love Jesus, you're going to glorify him. The Holy Spirit, which indwells the believer, the Bible says, um, you know, Jesus said, we'll glorify him. And, you know, how are you going to glorify Jesus if he's not God? You know, um, so it's just crazy. People want to downplay Jesus Christ. They want to diminish his glory, his deity, his uh, perfect nature, his, you know, his eternal. You know, they just want to go with um, their own carnal mind. But the Bible says that the carnal mind is enmity with God. You know, we need to be um, spiritually minded and receive the word of God with gladness, not just picking it apart and, you know, going with what our what we think to be true. We need to go with what the Bible says, with clear scriptures that says that Jesus Christ is God and manifest in the flesh, that God was received up into glory and that was Jesus. So, you know, just don't hear them. Just have nothing to do with people like that. Um, because they're not of God, they're not of the church. I don't care how much they want to say they get salvation right. If they have the wrong Jesus, they have the wrong gospel. So God bless all them that are fighting for the truth. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. And the Lord Jesus Christ will reward you for that, for preaching the word, um, being instant in season and out of season, and rebuking and exhorting people that to the truth of this 
this um, this topic that Jesus Christ is the eternal Son of God. He is God in the flesh. That there is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. All right. God bless every one of you. Catch us later.